So summer 2011 for me, David Velasquez, uh, I was helping out coordinate this wonderful uh, program at Wingate High School, Summer of Service, where we worked with about 40 plus students, um, organized partnerships with other sites, and sent them off to work at places such as the Brooklyn Supreme Court, the Innocence Project, Village Care, um, Council on Foreign Relations, and within our own lovely office. What we did is we attached students to different job areas that they might be interested in and it's an opportunity for them to actually just explore and see whether this is a field they might want to get into uh, by actually being there and getting hands-on experience and they were able to learn, um, gain more skills, develop more curiosity about the world around them and their role in it so it's a really important program. We're here today at the culminating event, which is really just to relax and celebrate ourselves. We're having a barbecue, flipping, you know, some burgers and hot dogs, sharing some good times, and um, ending a, a really good summer on a good on a good note. Hot dogs? Anyone ready for a hot dog? Yeah. How's that last? They should be de there's, there's definitely more than you know for people to repeat. So on the... I just want two hamburgers. Um, this summer I worked at the Innocence Project. And what the Innocence Project does is they work to exonerate people who are falsely convicted of crimes. Um, but all of the crimes have to be able to be proven through DNA, through DNA testing. So if you were in, convicted of rape or murder and you didn't do it, they take the DNA that the prosecution or the state has and they test it. If the DNA shows that you were not the criminal, then they find they take your case in and they send a paralegal to take your case and attempt to exonerate you. I did a lot of file work, which is basically organizing everything to either send back or to help the attorney that was working on their case to be organized their files and go to court or whatever else that they was, whatever their next step was. I learned a whole bunch of things and I kind of decided to change my career path and I wanted to move into crime scene investigation which is basically if a murder happens or if any crime scene, like at any crime scene, the crime scene investigator takes photos and collects DNA such as fingerprints, hair, sweat, anything. I kind of learned what it is that I want to do, like what my real passion is, like just seeing everybody at work. I realized that I want to focus on the criminal justice system and how it's more of an injustice system than a justice system. Um, I realized that I'm really passionate about it. Like I always knew that it wasn't something that I agree with, but to see it firsthand how people were in jail on death row for something that they didn't even do. Like, so um, I've decided this summer that I want to be like a parole or probation officer for juveniles. Um, the next step would be to look for a college that has a criminology major and also biology. I, I'm gonna take biology, I'm gonna take criminology, chemistry, and I'm, I'm gonna focus on criminology career path. <laughs> This summer, for the Global Kids, our project was human trafficking, and I learned a lot about it and got really, really involved with it, did a lot of research. Um, it's really serious, and it's not just like what I thought, like someone coming into your home and like stealing you and putting you into a brothel. It's like legit people trying to make money for their family and being deceived. Was what my group and I were trying to do was to educate the public about human trafficking and tell them like how to, what they can do to help the problem. I didn't know the three types of human trafficking. I didn't know that it was um, sex, drugs, and labor. I thought it was just sex. I didn't know. And then we watched a movie about it to inform us more about it. Because the movie, it did not sugarcoat anything. It showed us what human trafficking was. and. It was, it was sad, like it was a sad movie. Through Global Kids I started to learn about, you know, the injustices that females, you know, face everywhere, how children are treated and things of that nature. And I definitely, definitely got my major, I know from here, like I know I wanted to do something social, but I know I, now I want to do something social for kids. So that'll definitely, and being that I'm in Albany, I get a chance to advocate for something. So 
that's definitely something else that I've definitely learned to do here at Global Kids. Thank you. And over the summer with Global Kids, I worked at Village Care, a facility that they put us in. And basically, I did recreation therapy work, and I worked with some of the residents there that are HIV positive. Um, I played games, arts and crafts, and like just did volunteer work. And that's about it. And then for the last week, I came back to Global Kids here, and I learned about what other students was doing, and I learned a lot about human trafficking. I had in my mind that you can catch HIV by talking to someone with it. So being that it's a whole facility with 100 people, residents that have HIV, I was scared about talking to them. But then I got used to it and I realized like you don't catch stuff like that. That's why you have to do it, like you have to look information up. So I realized you cannot catch it by just talking to someone, touching someone. There's, other, there's um, deeper ways you can catch it. So I just calm down. I learned a lot. I learned that I'm more patient than I say I am. I learned that um, I'm very caring because I am caring, but I learned that I care for others even though they're not my friends. Like I learned that I really do care for people outside the world. Alright. See him please. See right there, see him, man. I would. Be getting a little me back. <laughs> yeah, we're done, we're done. Make sure you delete that. Over the summer. I've entered this um, summer job called um, LTS, which stands for Less Talk Sustainability, which is in the organization named Global Kids. At first, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know much about what sustainability was that much and what type of sustainability they were talking about, but as I got into it, I learned a lot and I think it's real helpful towards the environment because they spoke a lot about alternative energies and ways to help better the community and stop the whole process of global warming and things like that. Sustainability is like, well, it's kind of like self-explanatory, just sustaining a good, healthy way of living and environment. Over this summer program, like, I feel I became like kind of more outgoing because they make you do certain projects that make you like stand your point and have to speak up for yourself and things like that. So you also build traits within yourself. Global Kids is opportunity. Global Kids is it's an organization that basically um it teaches young kids about global issues worldwide and it gets them involved in it. So basically they help they have us they well first they they um, inform us about it so we can have a knowledge on it. And then they make us go out and inform other people about it so that a change can happen. They always try to like teach students or teach kids our age that like we can do better. Like we don't have to just always be on the streets. We don't have to do stuff. Like they actually care for us and they help us with our career and our future. To be a part of Global Kids is an awesome thing. I mean, for me, it was just like an extended family that can that, um, that will always be there for me. They enhance in me wanting to make uh, more impact on the world. They like I really want to go out and help people now. Like before, it was just I didn't like it, but now I actually want to help, and I feel good to help. So I've learned a lot about international affairs. So I'll probably like to take that up in the future. Maybe study that in college, and maybe someday maybe work for Global Kids. You never know. I have seen them grow in so many different ways. First of all, as a group, um, just coming from different schools and not wanting to work with each other to really melt in those barriers that they have every day, um, to learning that um, they're in this together, they're in the program together, and that they need each other to support each other. So seeing them gain those team building skills are really important. Um, we watch kids also just step up um, and try new things. So for students who are really shy, we had them talk a lot. We put them in situations where they were forced to talk a lot and they stepped up to the plate. Um, these are students who otherwise think different. Some of them have been brought up to think that they might not be worth it because they come from a certain neighborhood or a certain community or certain background, but just to empower them and let them know that you know, you are valuable, you have learned a lot, that life has taught you a lot of things and you can use those skills that you've learned for good and you can channel all that energy that you have into something positive. Um, it's really important to me, so that, that's why I do the work that I do.